back at point guard of Melbourne United, Peter Hawley. Pete, people were loving your uh, your little interview session the other day at the Rocky Steps, man. You trying to step in on my old role, or what's going on? Uh, I mean, I went to school for it, but no, I would say that when everyone was a bit tired and jet lagged, so they weren't giving me much. And if you're not going to give me much, you're probably going to get a little bit of a roasting. So <laughs> that's how it went, and uh, yeah, I'm glad people liked it. Now, I know you like to take a little bit of pride in your appearance, mate, but uh, you, TJ McConnell, two backup point guards, who's better looking you? Oh, that's a big one. Um, he's, at, he's got a nice, uh, he's got a nice hairstyle. He keeps it nice and fresh throughout the game, which I'm struggling to do. So if I can get some tips from him on that, then uh, maybe me. But I'll have to give it to him. Although, can he grow a beard? Yeah, I don't know if he can. Got him there. Then I'll take that one. All right, talk us through this situation. Castleware checks out of the game. Insert backup PG Pete Hawley onto the NBA court, matching up against Ben Simmons. What's going through the mind? Uh, don't get dunked on is the first one, obviously. <laughs> He's 6'10 and... Uh, to sit off. That's a good strategy, apparently. Well, they're talking about the defensive three seconds, so you can't be on helpline too much. So this is probably the one time that if Dean's going to yell at me for not being on split, I'll have a good excuse. Um, but I'll try and keep that one in the back of my mind. Obviously, last year against the OKC, pretty heartbreaking for you. You were ruled out with uh, with an injury right before that one. Did you ever think you are going to get this opportunity again? No, I mean, you don't. I mean, that's something we said last year. We're like, this could be a once-in-a-lifetime thing. You don't know. You don't know. You just got to try and run with it and enjoy it. And, yeah, it was a big setback for me. I'd, I'd been an OKC fan. I was excited for that. But um, obviously, there was bigger things to take care of, which we managed to do. But to be back here is it's an absolute privilege. And we're on the east side of America, which I'm familiar with. So I'm very happy to be here. And uh, you don't mind a big shot, obviously, hitting that massive shot uh, for Albany. This comes down to the wire last year. Melbourne United went down by a point, comes down to the wire. You you asking Dean Vickerman, get me in here, mate. This is for me. Well, I mean, get me in there for a tip. Uh, that play wasn't, it was supposed to be for me, but it was kind of broken off and it fell in my hands. So if I can get around for a loose ball, then that's where I want to kind of be. Um, but I'll see if it gets close, I'm definitely going to try and sneak right, in there. All right, mate, there's a team picture going on too, but hustle back over there. Man, they're going to get the beard in there, surely.